Hello, and welcome to 5 Facts about DNS, the directory for our internet. And oh, are we ever so grateful to have it. Without DNS, it is possible that the internet would not be what it is today. In any network, small or large, devices are located through what are known as IP addresses. A string of numerical values, these addresses are far from memorizable. So a system was set in place where a device's IP address could be linked to a name easy to remember. Over time, this system evolved into the Domain Name System, or DNS. To fully grasp how DNS works, we must first look at the domain name. Early domain names came from the physical locations of networks. Today, domain names can come from just about anywhere. But one thing to keep in mind, domain names take on a hierarchical structure, starting from the top-level domain, which is on the far right, to the server hosting the website at the far left. We will see how this structuring is reflected in DNS. The domain name system is made up of a series of directories at multiple levels. Now this is a bit technical, so bear with me. At the top are the DNS servers for .com, .net, .org, and so on. These servers store the IP addresses for the next level of DNS servers, such as YouTube, Facebook, and the many others. Now these second level DNS servers store the IP addresses for the web servers where their websites are hosted. These are the addresses which your browser uses. So to resolve a domain name such as youtube.com, your device will contact the local DNS server. The local DNS server would then send a request to the .com DNS server. But at this level, the only assistance that could be provided is the IP address for a DNS server within the YouTube domain. So the local DNS server tries again, contacting the YouTube DNS server, which can provide the IP address for YouTube.com. With the information relayed back to your device, it is not possible to make the connection with the website. There are two types of DNS queries. Recursive is a simple request that is usually made between a client and a local DNS server. It stipulates that there could only be one of two responses, the requested IP address or a not found message. Iterative is not as simple. Usually made between two DNS servers, it asks for a referral if the information is not available. Here are some additional facts. These servers are not, in fact, the highest level in the domain name system hierarchy. That position is held by what is known as a root DNS server, which is represented by a simple period. Caching plays an important role in DNS queries. Once a domain name's IP address has been resolved, it is stored locally for future use. So there it is, five facts about DNS. Do you have any fact you would like to add? Comment below. And if you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.